Hi, this is a quick follow-up to a video I just released like 30 minutes ago. But basically, I've been, I've been working on this little personal project. It's something that I posted on the community wall, encouraging students uh, and my audience to try out. And then someone was like, I had mentioned a couple tools you could try, like Request, Request Promise, Cheerio, stuff like that. And then someone was like, oh, you can't get past Udemy's uh, reCAPTCHA. So they use Perimeter X, and then it, it realizes that you're trying to do kind of like an automated request with uh, you know, Node, and it blocks it. Okay, fine. So I spent the last couple hours messing around with some different headless browser options. Headless browser, if you don't already know, basically is a browser, but it's, it's just like the functionality of a browser. It's not the actual graphical user interface. And you can toggle that on and off. Uh, as you can see here, I have headless true, which means that when, when you have the head, then that's the browser, the graphical user interface. And when it's headless, that's when you just have the code that does all the same stuff. So basically with code, we can do everything that a browser can do. We can open up a page, um, we can go to a link, and we can take a screenshot so that we can see, here's the screenshot, which page we went to. And as you can see, I went to Cold Steel's Web Developer Bootcamp on Udemy. I was able to bypass the uh, Perimeter X uh, reCAPTCHA using this little plugin right here. And basically what I did, when I, well, what I realized was that uh, I just wanted to get the price of the course, right, and print it out of the console. And I did that all the way, oh, too far, right here. And... Then I did it again later after messing around with some stuff, and it was a different price. And I was like, interesting. So I'm gonna run it 20 times over the course of 20 minutes and see if the price changes. And lo and behold, here's my output. Um, it does change. So it's 11.99, one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven times, and then the last, uh, the next interval, it's 12.59. So you're getting charged 60 cents more if you buy it during that visit. And then it goes back, 11.99, 11.99. And then here's another one, so it's intermittent, right? 12.59. Then the next one's 11.99, then it's 12.59. So it's only these two prices, at least for now. But that's kind of, I mean, it's, it's fine, it's whatever. They can charge whatever they want and they can offer whatever discounts they want. So it's not like we're uncovering a conspiracy here. And honestly, I had already noticed this when, you know, I would just go view the course and then I would like share the course with someone else and they would view it and they would tell me a different price and then I would go back and view it and it would be a different price again. Uh, and so I had, I had seen it in the past and I thought, ah, that's probably something they're doing. But this proves it, this shows that it's, it's literally happening. Um, so again, you know, we're not uncovering <laughs> any like scam or anything. It's just a marketing tactic. Uh, you know, if they can make more money, they're gonna make more money. But it is kind of cool. Now I'm going to augment this script even further and probably what I'll do is turn it into an app that hopefully uh, will allow students to kind of keep track of a course. So like, let's say I promote a course and you say, oh, well, I, I want to take that course, but right now it's X amount of dollars. I want to wait until it's cheaper. So then this will like every day, it'll find out if a sale is going on. And then if there is one, instead of you having to check it daily, you'll just get a notification to your email telling you, hey, this course is now on sale. Uh, that's kind of like something I'd want to do in the future. It will require a, a, quite a bit of coding. Uh, I think up front, my first implementation, other than what I have here, is going to be just a web app that displays the courses with their current price next to them. So of course, you could always do that just by going to Udemy, but this is kind of like a, an aggregation of all the courses that I promote on my YouTube community wall, and it'll have all the, the current prices next to them. So that's all for now. Just some interesting you know, side coding project, just for fun kind of thing. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know.